What's up, my Monster Jam fans? You know me, Toy Insanity. I collected so you don't have to. You don't have to if you don't want to, okay? <sighs> it's Monster Jam Monday. Full set. Full set. Series 18. I haven't done a full set video since August. And I haven't done a full set of retail relevant found in field. Got everything all nine, including the chase, since June. Okay? I've been chasing that feeling. That feeling of accomplishment. That sense of completion when you go... <laughs> There it is. Full set. Ma, I did it. I got the full set. Can I please come home for Christmas? So, you know, worldwide distribution has been a little wacky this year, but I thought we could take a moment to appreciate the distribution chain and just say thank you to everyone involved. The designers, the manufacturers, the distributors. I mean, somebody can seize an idea. Somebody decides to make one car or one figure or one truck rarer than all the rest. Forced. Scarcity. Artificial. Uh, what's the word? You know what I mean. It's like you didn't have to do that, but I'm going to appreciate you anyway. Because someone else put it all together. Somebody else painted it. Somebody put it on a ship. Somebody put it on a truck. Somebody put it on the peg at Walmart. Okay. Shout out to you. <coughs> Higher education. Oh, my gosh. Well, I remember my school days and how I just took the bus driver for granted, you know. I got my education. And there was a dude at the front of the bus who just kept everyone in line and just made sure we got there safe and sound. So the teacher could educate us and put them ideas in. Where did it go? Mm! But thank you to all the bus drivers out there. I mean, no matter where you are in the world, no matter what your culture is, your background, your upbringing, can we all just come together and appreciate monster trucks? In die cast form. It's cast from a die and it's made with metal. Metal and plastic makes my heart sing. Alright. It ain't a school bus. It's a cool bus. Alright. Mm -hmm. Be careful out there. When I was a little tiny insane toddler, I got stuck in a snow embankment. A true story. Our bus. Okay, you know, we probably would have... We didn't have wheels like this. We're just on a regular bus going to public school. Chugging along. Next thing you know, bringing up in a ditch. No one was hurt. No one was hurt. I survived to this day. Okay, what is this? A crust the station. Crust them station. Cross. Crush. Pun. Cross station. Can we just take a moment to appreciate all the creatures in the sea? There's a megalodon shark coming at you, too. What does it say here? Uh, 10 years of terribleness. I look like a raw lobster. We got a rock lobster and we got a cool bus. Man, I just look. You got to. You I don't eat this stuff personally. Oh my gosh, they used to call roaches. Uh, no, they called uh, lobsters roaches of the sea. They were so plentiful and it was just. You just think about you eating a big roach, a big spider, or something. I don't eat nothing from the sea. I don't eat no fish neither. But I can appreciate it. I can appreciate the generations of humanity that endured eating stuff from the sea, so I can live in a modern era where I can have a beef and a chicken. What else we got? Oh, we got a doggo. Not just any doggo. It's Scooby McDo. And I'd like to appreciate and acknowledge uh, Joseph Hanna and... Uh, what's, I think it's Joseph Barbera, too. You know, they created an iconic character. What makes him iconic? Because he goes like this. <laughs> uh, yeah? Would you get, well, would you collect them all for two Scooby Snacks? <laughs> and then it's all like, yo, Shaggy. Shaggy, lay off it and come help solve this caper. You know? And I'd just like to appreciate those meddling kids. There's so many criminals have been thwarted, thwarted, thwarted in their path of criminality. They would have gotten away with it if it weren't for them meddling kids. So I appreciate them. On this day in December, I give thanks to all mystery-solving crews worldwide. Okay? Who we got on the poster? Blue? <laughs> Why would the poster be one that's not, not by image? Represented in the set. Yeah, we do have a Blue Thunder, but it's all sketched artist looking. Dude, why can't I ever get a poster of flipping crustacean? Also, the Max D here, did, it, it, okay, it kind of looked like that. Let's appreciate Max D real quick. I appreciate a world in which I live where there's not maximum destruction every day on every street corner in every environment. Okay? Tornadoes just ripped through Kentucky. I can appreciate that I ain't there. I can appreciate that I'm collecting the full set and the sun is shining. Dude, there ain't even wind today. Would this be called a, you know, a reckless truck? 
because he's made from different versions. Okay, so I can appreciate the technology involved with making an automobile, monstrous or not. Okay, five-time champion. Well, who's the champion of 2021? And thanks, shout out to the Spin Master Designers uh, for making some dope die-cast trucks and making them easy to access in the modern world. Okay, that's your, that's your chase boy, okay? I can appreciate that I actually found this one at retail for the retail cost at Walmart, $3.88. Okay, what else can I appreciate about this? They, I can appreciate that they decided to throw us a little extra paint app. Because otherwise, I'd be like... Man, this looks like every other Megalodon. I can appreciate a wheelie bar. Who don't want to be astounded and amazed when you see a wheelie trick in the arena? Step off. I can appreciate that we live in a world that ain't inhabited by fire-breathing, man-eating dragons. Okay? Some people back in the day found a dinosaur or skeleton fossil and was like, Hey, that's everything humanity is scared of all in one. They looked at the limbs and the hypothesized wings. They looked at that big spine. And we're like, oh my gosh, this is like a flying serpentine bird of prey. With shark teeth. Can you imagine being the first person to find a spine of a of a of an apatosaurus? And be like, oh my gosh. That thing would eat me alive. You didn't know. You didn't know. Medieval times or earlier. It was an herbivore or whatnot. Who cares? Who cares, Tony Sanity? I can appreciate that they decided to vary the color on the Bakugan Dragonoid. Instead of doing another red, we got this bright green one. Finally, a Ventus Dragonoid Monster Jam Monster Truck. Three or four colors of green and just sharp. Hmm. And what's left? Bro Camino. This ain't your daddy's bro dozer. Bro Camino. I can appreciate orange, you know? Sometimes I just ain't in the mood for red or yellow. Alright. The vitamin C of my color spectrum palette craze orange once in a while. This is that anti-scurvy color. Otherwise, there's not much to say. It's an orange pickup. You know? But if you gotta haul some firewood into the Monster Jam Arena or whatnot, you gotta haul some sand because you're building a sandbox, you probably want Bro Camino. We're hauling children, we're hauling seafood, bounty of the sea, and we're hauling firewood dirt. I can appreciate this bad boy. Because <clears throat> it subverts all my expectations, alright? When I see something called Blue Thunder, what color? What color do you think I think it's going to be? I'm going to clue you in. Blue, alright? Next thing you know, I'm holding a Blue Thunder that ain't got a speck of blue, not a spot of blue, not a pixel of blue on this bad boy. I, I can appreciate the artist that stood there under a tree, under an acorn tree, with his pencil and pad book and just drew this. Okay, he just sketched it out and was like, you know what? I forgot my watercolors. I forgot my magic markers and colored pencils. And I'm still gonna submit this work and get an A and get span span master to make it one day. For scarcity, that's what I was trying to think of. Intentional rarity. You don't have to do it, but all the toy companies be doing it. Incidentally, accidentally, this guy is last. Full set, my dudes. Shout out to the completest in your life. And shout out to the bus driver. Give your bus driver, you know, like a $50 Amazon gift card this season. Okay. Or either that or um, Olive Garden. Every bus driver loves Olive Garden. All right, but check it. it ain't fire and ice. It's just fire, okay? Straight dopeness. Bad to the boneness. All right, because remember the Fire and Ice series? They were Walmart exclusives, okay? But now we get fire flame wheels. And we get, you know, it's a big deal. If, if, you de if you're deep into it, it's a big deal that there's no door on this side, okay? I got to look through my full set, my, all my collections one day and see if there's a door panel on the passenger side, okay? Because it ain't supposed to be on any uh, grave diggers. And can we all just take a moment of appreciation for actual grave diggers? <laughs> Talk about a dirty job. Mike Rowe didn't even want to do that. All right. Bodies be piling up, man. It's current year. 
somebody gotta put him in the ground. All right, let's perform a ranking, okay? He's the only guy that got BKT written on his tires. BKT, big, kooky truck. <sighs> My favorite here. One. He's some weak trucks too. Blue Tampy dude. That's gotta be the first time Blue Thunder has ever made it in my top two. Cause I do like the sketch concept. <sighs> yeah, I I typically enjoy the sculpt of Megalodon and Dragonoid, but <laughs> it was so basic and boring. I'm gonna go with the Crush Station. Okay. Crush my Lisa Frank stationary. And then I'll go with the cool bus, higher education. Because I mean uh, you know, apparently there's some minor detail that's different on this one, but at the end of the day, it's still a yellow school bus. You know, I was in Alaska a long time ago, and there was all these uh, food trucks. Okay, you want a bison burger, you want an elk burger, you want a musk ox burger. You roll right up to a food truck made in a decommissioned school bus. Okay, straight up, like no wheels. They're just like a, got a stove and an oven in there and some dead animals. But they'll make you a burger up there. They'll make you a burger, whatever type you want. Salmon burger. I call them tourist burgers because you could get a cow hamburger too. All right. But two, three, four dollars more, you can try that musk ox burger. You could try that elk burger and you just be like, hmm, this tastes a lot like a cow cattle hamburger. Not going to lie. All right. Scooby Doo and all of you. Wait, wait, wait. Was I doing a ranking? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. It's a weak set. But. It's been a stellar year. Can't deny. Can't deny. Okay, thumbs up. Uh, you know, appreciate the loved ones in your life and everyone in the food chain of Toyetic distribution. Goodbye.